Okay, geometry, 12-8, congruent and similar solids. This is the last uh, chapter screencast section of the year. So congratulations on making it this far. Uh, we'll begin EOI preparation um, in a couple of days, but uh, this is the end of chapter 12. So obviously when we look at things that are congruent, we know that everything's gonna be the same. So that's gonna be obvious if I find a shape um, let's say it's a, a rectangular prism. Um, obviously the lengths, the widths, the heights, everything is going to be the same. So if you remember comparing things that are similar, we're going to make proportions. So let's take a, uh, let's take a look at a couple of shapes. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, these cones and create a proportion that's going to say that they're similar. Now, Number one, you could create proportions on any type of shape, but for them to be similar, first off, they have to be the same shape. So obviously these are both cones, and then I'm going to set up a proportion of their heights. Okay, so height one over height two, that would have to be proportion, proportion knit, excuse me, to the radius one over the radius two. Okay, so again, same shapes have to have proportional sides. So let's take a look at um, let's take a look at an example. Let's say that I'm going to erase some things here. Let's say that H1. I guess I could go ahead and erase all those to save some time. Let's say that height one is 15 with a radius of six. And let's say that height two is 16 with a radius of six. Now, some of you are looking at that going, well, that doesn't look right because that second shape is much bigger. But let's go ahead and, and just take those numbers. And let's call it, uh, let's measure it in feet. So let's substitute, we've got height one is 15. Height two is 16, and then radius one is six, and radius two is six. Now, we could cross multiply this section right here, but obviously six over six equals one, and 15 over six is not gonna equal one. So these would not be similar. And obviously, if they're not similar, they're also not going to be congruent. Okay, we're going to look at theorem 12.1, and it has to do with them stating that the shapes are already similar. And there are some uh, kind of shortcuts where I can find the different relationships. If they are similar, they're going to have a scale factor. And that scale factor... is going to be A to B, okay? One scale to one. In this case, it's going to be smaller to bigger. So 12.1 tells us that we can take the relationship of the surface area, and I'm just going to abbreviate that with SA, and if the scale factor is A to B, then the surface area is A squared to B squared. Okay, again, area is going to be squared. So we can also find the volume, and that's going to be A cubed to B cubed. Okay, so if the scale factor is A to B and they are similar, then your surface area is going to be A squared to B squared, and your volume is going to be A cubed to A cubed. So we're going to use that information to find the missing height of these two cylinders. So the first thing we want to do is we notice that they gave us the volume. So we're going to compare the volume and that's going to be 270 pi to 640 pi. So the pi's are going to cancel. Uh, we'll go ahead and cancel out the zeros just for a simple reduction here. Some of you are looking to reduce this fraction even further. I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, we know 
that volume is a cubed to b cubed. So can we write 27 and 64 as cubic units? And we can. 27 is 3 to the third power, and 64 is 4 to the third power. That now helps us in our theorem 12.1 because we now know what a and b are. Okay, So our scale factor, or our a, is 3, and our b is 4. So our scale factor is 3 fourths. That's going to help us find our height. So we're going to go back to our original equation, and our height ratio is going to be h over 10. Our scale factor is 3 fourths. So that when we cross multiply there, that's going to give us 4h equals 30. Divide both sides by 4, and we're going to end up with h equals, or the height of the smaller one equals 7.5 inches. Okay, so again, using theorem 12.1 to find that missing side. Well, that's just over six and a half minutes. That is chapter 12, section 8, congruent and similar solids.